Hi, I'm Ros Charlie and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I'm here in my kitchen, but I'm not cooking for you today. I'm gonna to talk to you about keeping an organized home and cleaning tips and various other bits. So, I don't live in a show home. I love things. I love having things around me. It's not always immaculate, it's not always perfect, but my top tip, it's just essential and I think it's for sort of everywhere in your home. If everything has a place, then it's relatively easy to keep an organized home. So if you have a spot for the sellotape and it always lives there, you know where it is, you're not stressed, you're not rushing around, it's not lost. And if everybody in the family knows where the sellotape lives, then that's where it goes. I'm just giving you that example. But in my kitchen, I have a place for everything. And I'm gonna walk you, I'm gonna walk you around, I'm gonna show you in the cupboards and explain sort of slightly why I put things there. And it, it works for me, it doesn't work for everybody. I hate anybody unloading my dishwasher. It's, you know, it's really kind, it's really lovely, but things then get in the wrong place and I can't find them and it's stressful. And the same with my kitchen cupboards, the same in fact with my entire house. Everything has got a place. And if everybody knows where that place is, then it's easy. The secret is encouraging people to put things back in the right place. And I'm still trying to master that with the children, but we're working on it. So let's start with, where should we start? I think we'll start with the fridge behind me. Right, my fridge. We redesigned our house um, nine, 10 years ago. And so everything was new then. I designed the kitchen with the kitchen designers. And so it works really well for us. And I just love having this big American fridge freezer. I've got the special photos here. I've got my workouts, that's poor Coco for her wrist, the fracture clinic, and just various other kind of important things. The children have got a list of chores there. Um, so look, let's get inside it. So I have butter at the top. I have salted and then I have unsalted. I've got salad dressings and sort of grown up bits there. These tend to be, apart from the mustard and that horseradish, for the children so they can reach it. I've got a fridge thermometer, which is really important so I can keep an eye on the temperature of my fridge. I've got milk and juice there. <clears throat> I've got my jars up here. So I've got savory on this side and sweet on that side and a bit of cream. I have yogurts here. I've got, actually I've got some massive um, blocks of cheddar, so they fit there. Normally, they would actually go in the fridge door, but I've got uh, butter, some little bits of butter, so our butter dish, and that's actually some unsalted I've been cooking with. This is green tea, which has come from China, and I've been told by a Chinese guy that kindly gave it to us to keep it in the fridge. So I've got juice there, actually. I don't know why we've got um, a lot of barbecue sauce open at the moment. We had a barbecue a few weeks ago for Archie's birthday. Then in here I've got veg, so uh, tend to keep sort of carrots and broccoli and things like that. I've got some aubergines, celery there, I've got some salad, chives, peppers, um, chilies in there. And then I've got fish on this side and meat on this side. And I like to keep it like that. Um, I have actually got a bit of fresh pasta because I, where else? Fresh pasta goes, I keep that actually in the fridge, in the fish section. So I've got meat here. Uh, I've got a bottle, half mug on this drunk bottle of wine and some water here. Then the children have got, I've got some baby bars and some little pepperonis for them, which they can snack on. And I've got cheese in here. I've got some cheese up here and I've got rice in there. So everything in my fridge has a place. We all know where it is and it gets back in there. Right, I've just moved the camera up closer so you can see. So I've got some white sauce in here, so I obviously made too much and I have just put it in a Tupperware and labelled it. I tend to have grown up on this side, so we've got some smoked salmon in here, I've got some pastry. I have got Tupperware under here, which let me lift it up. So that has actually got prawns and lobster meat from Sai. Um, from, from his business in there. And I try to keep things in a Tupperware, so less likely to get freezer burn if the packets are open already. And they're kind of contained in an area and I don't have lots of packets around the place, which I just found then things got out of hand. 
Um, I don't really like putting things like that in my freezer, but it's a haggis um, from my darling husband. Um, then in this Tupperware here, I have got breadcrumbs and crumble mixture. So I try and date everything. There's a breadcrumb and that's crumble topping, which again, I have made extra and it's really good to freeze. And then down here, I have got peas, got a little bit of bought fruit, which I make into smoothies. And then I have got some chips, some fish fingers and some chicken nuggets. Because sometimes I do give that sort of stuff to my kids. So that is a sneak peek into my freezer and my fridge. So I try to keep my fridge and my freezer that are here in the house as organized as possible. I have actually got two other freezers out in the garage. I've got the family freezer and I've got a freezer for my catering as well. So they're kind of, they're separate and I know exactly what's where, but this is, um, you know, everyday kind of things that I need. Um, not that I need the slows and the blackberries every day, but things to hand go in here. I also have got a sheet um, that I'm going to be sharing with you all as a download uh, for, for your freezer. So you can put on there everything that you have in your freezer and so you know what you're running low on, what you might need. And it's just a really useful kind of stock take, as it were, for, for your freezer. I also have got another little fridge, which I'm gonna show you um, in a second. And I'll show you a few of my kitchen covers as well. But it's just really important, I think, to try and keep a calm, happy house by having everything in its right place. And you've seen on my stories that sometimes my kitchen is completely out of control and chaotic and hectic with my kitchen island completely covered with all sorts of things. And you know, it's a working, it's a working space. I'm busy and so I do have everything out, but I like to put everything away organize it and make sure that I'm on top of it because otherwise things can escalate and get quite out of control and then you suddenly are in complete and utter chaos and messy. So I think it's really important when you finish something, trying to put it away in its rightful place. This is our other fridge and it's a drinks fridge. When we were designing the house, we were going to proper put a proper sort of wine drinks fridge in here. They're really, really expensive and just so we just got a normal fridge it's integrated so I quite like the fact that it's hidden away and nobody knows about it we've got drinks in there and then I've got extra space if I need it and obviously when I'm catering it's really useful um, again it's got a fridge thermometer so I can keep an eye on the temperature and if we've got a party or lots of people coming over then I can whack a whole load of drinks in there so that's pretty perfect and then I've got uh, we've got a microwave hidden in there which is quite handy. Oh, I'm falling over. Um, cutlery drawer. So everything again has got its rightful spot. This drawer is for the children's kind of plastic plates and bowls and things, which we don't really need anymore. But sometimes we do have younger children visiting and it will be going fairly soon. And then down here, I've got Arga toppers. I can actually check these drawers before I'm showing you. Um, Arga towel and tea towels and things like that. I like to have things that I need frequently to hand. So I thought I'd quickly show you this side of the kitchen too. Obviously I've got the auger and I will do a video on keeping your auger clean at some point. So here I have got plastic bags, cling film, baking paper, all those sorts of things. And I find it really useful having it to hand here. I've got my brilliant frozen and parsley kitchen stuff. That works really well for me here. I've then got some dishes. This is in my jam making bits and pieces. Um, I've got um, my cooling racks here. I've got some big serving dishes and then my silver cutlery set in there. And then this side, um, I've actually got things like, um, I'm disappearing, I've got phone charges and things in this drawer. Um, and then I've got saucepans that I use frequently here. And I don't think you can see it, it's gonna pull out. I've got a really good, let me show you properly. Over on this side, I've got this great um, pull out corner unit and I've got things like salad bowls and sieves and plastic jugs, um, Pyrex 
bowls and things like that. I've got my vegetable steamer in there and a cafetiere. I've got my bin here, which is brilliant. So I've got um, normal rubbish and recycling behind. And then I've got the kitchen sink. Right, my cupboard under the sink. So it's got quite a lot of stuff going on. Um, I've got my rubber gloves hanging there. I've got a dirty kind of floor cloth and I've got a clean dishcloth over here. And I've got my dishwasher tablets, the cleaning products. Now, when the children were little, I didn't keep any cleaning products under the sink or anything dangerous that they could open and reach to. Obviously, now they're older, I have got, um, I don't keep bleach under here, but I have got SIF and things that I need um, around the kitchen. I've got um, ferris brushes, I've got spare scarers, I do have baby wipes for emergencies, quick face wipe or whatever before going off to school. I try not to use them very often, but I do have some emergency ones. Um, I love this washing up liquid. I then have um, a soap dish down here with one of these and a scara. So they are to kind of tidy away and they're not out on display. I've got some spare hand soaps, um, tissues and various things like that and bin bags. So. That is, um, is really useful to have here. So I want to talk to you about dishcloths. I love these ones. I think they're about £1.50 each and they come in a pack of two, they're Spontex, and I use them all the time. But they get dirty and so I, even in the washing machine, they don't get properly clean. So just a bit of bleach, which I don't keep under the sink just a squirt of that and then I soak them overnight and then I run them through the washing machine and I just find that gets them not sparkling white but it gets them clean, it kills all the germs and I know that I can keep using them time and time again. I've also, let me turn it off, I've also got some of the flora here so if I'm wiping down surfaces, um, cleaning out my fridge, whatever, I love the flora and if a child's been ill or whatever, then I will use this as well. So I will add the flora into my um, hot water and then wipe surfaces down with that. So this is the other side of my kitchen island and I have got all of my utensils in here. Um, I do actually have, I say all of my utensils, I have got quite a few and there are a few by the Olga and a few by the kettle, but these are things that that I have here and everything has its right spot. So I've got some measuring things. These are sort of odd bits and pieces, bottle opener, um, peelers. These clips I find really useful. Then I've got some wooden things, rolling pins in there and spatulas, <laughs> it's having a shake. Um, you know, all sorts of bits, but everything has its right home. And that's why I love emptying the dishwasher because even Cy si gets it wrong sometimes. Um, in here I have got cheese graters and other things. It makes sense for me and it works. So it's really important, as I've said, to have things in the right spot for you. And then I've got frying pans and big argo trays down there. And here I have got, this is a really useful compost bin, which is great, really handy, particularly when I'm chopping veg on there. I can just go straight in there. Tupperwares, and then I keep all of my um, yogurt pots because I find them really useful. <laughs> It's just come round. Um, so they go down there at the bottom. So I'm not going to show you all the cupboards because it would be boring, but in here we've got Nutribullet toaster, I've got my matcha toast rack, mugs, some glasses. That is in the wrong place. So as you can see, everything has got its home and it works for us. And I think it's really important to get your home working for you and having a good kind of layout and everything having its own spot that everybody in the family knows where it is. And that really is the secret to keeping an organized home. I'm gonna show you a couple of other um, cupboards that you might find useful. So on this side of the fridge, I have this cupboard, which might be a bit random, but it works for me. So I've got my Kevwood here and my Magimix here. I've got part of my Kevwood jug I imagine makes bits here. I've actually got some vitamins that we use on a regular basis, mine and Simon's um, and the children's. Up here, I've got my medical baskets. So um, I have done a YouTube video of what I keep in my in my medical baskets, and so those um, yeah those are there, which is just handy if the children come in and they've cut themselves. I've got those if 
you know, it's just, it works really well for me having them up there. And also the children can't easily get them out. So I know that they're safe as well. Then got some drawers down here. I've got some of my bits, tape measures and calculator. And this is sort of mummy's drawer. And then I've got baking things down here. So this is um, scales and Kenwood, you know, attachments, bits and pieces in that drawer. And then I've got baking trays below. So I hope that you have found that useful, having a look into my kitchen, into my fridge, into my freezer. Um, do look out for the freezer download because I think that will be really useful for you to sort of have a stock take of what's in your freezer and I like to do it with my freezers outside as well so I know exactly what I've got and if I'm running low of anything or, or particularly knowing what to feed the children so I do have quite a lot of frozen meals I can just pull out and so if I've got them on a sheet I know oh yeah we can have that tonight or oh I'm running low I better get cooking so I hope that you find that useful and as, as ever, thank you for watching.